today i'm going to be sharing with you guys 11 different ways that you can get gems for free here in call of dragons so that way you can start to earn over 2,000 gems per day for free and maybe one day you'll have as many gems as i have here in that top right corner over 120,000 gems i am dying to spend those but i know they're super rare and you want to spend them in the right ways but before you think about spending gems you gotta learn how to make them so let's just jump into the first method that you can get gems and that is the easiest one which is the daily rewards we're getting this method out of the way first because this is the most simple it's the most obvious and i'm sure you guys know this already but in case you don't if you complete your daily challenges you'll see that the chest you get gives you a bunch of really important things but especially 100 gems for free so that's 100 gems every single day just by logging in and doing the things that you should be doing oh and before i forget cheers everybody i just had taco bell for lunch it's a good day i hope you guys are doing well too now let's move on to method number two and that is none other than illustration so if you look in the bottom bar here you can see a little book and this is going to open up your tails and in the bottom right corner here you'll see a little icon that says illustrations and there are three here that I have to collect there's creature illustrations hero illustrations letters anecdotes artifacts etc all of these different things will get you gems for free so what do I mean by that well if I click on creatures for example I'll scroll down here and you can see if my camera wasn't in the way that there are behemoth illustrations and I have an unclaimed reward for the thunder rock now if I take a look in the bottom right corner there's a little gift box that jumps up and down and if you click on it boom I got five gems for free now how did I do that well first of all you can only claim this once for every creature that you discover for the first time and the way that you discover that creature here as you can see there are some that I am missing is by literally just exploring the open world finding them and clicking on the little book right here that book is going to open up their corresponding creature page and if you had never seen them before then there's going to be that little gift box and you can get your gems for free but it's not just that you can see here that the anecdotes give you some gems for free okay here we have the high priest I'm going to go ahead and click that and boom I get five gems for free there as well but also the artifacts so as you unlock artifacts for the first time you're going to see once again that jumping little gift box in the bottom corner and it's five gems every single time and five gems doesn't sound like a lot but when you consider how many different anecdotes heroes artifact creatures and everything that there are here this is probably a way to get over 500 to a thousand gems for free just by clicking through some menus so I mean that's awesome method number three involves your scouts and specifically if you click on your scout camp you'll see some of the different things that my scouts have discovered out in the world and virtually all of these things will get you gems for free which is why exploring the mist in the open world and revealing the entirety of the map is so important and you should be doing this all the time until it's basically done okay and I'm guilty of being lazy as well okay I'm not perfect sometimes I forget to do this sometimes I can't be bothered but really you got to do what you got to do you got to get it done okay so if you want gems for free you're gonna have to scout around the map and some of the things specifically that will get you gems are the supplies here so you can go through and visit each of these supplies sometimes it's bags on the ground or a little wagon like this or it's little crates floating in the water uh, and you can go through and sometimes these will give you gems and just like the anecdotes it will be five gems for free I don't think I've ever seen more than five gems come out of a supply I don't know if I'll be able to get it here for the video it is relatively rare to get gems from these but I have gotten it multiple times so I can confirm that it is absolutely possible but you can also get gems from villages and also from camps as well now again these are also really rare a lot of times at camps you'll have a choice between something and five gems and if you're a free-to-play player you should probably be getting the five gems every single time so in case you were wondering like what's better gems or something else it's pretty much always gems if you're free to play okay and you'll also get gems for discovering map locations this is one that a lot of people maybe don't realize as much but as you can see here if you tap on the map in the very center of the explore page you can actually see a couple of these different ones have the little red bubble on them and if you tap on that and then I tap on red marsh you'll see our best best friend that's the little jumping gift box again and guess what five gems every single time you do that so again not only as you explore the map are you going to be clearing the fog to get all the free gems from the supplies and the villages and all that stuff but you're also going to get gems 
just for exploring the map like it's just that simple just explore the map and you're good you're gonna unlock different story quests and things like that but doing pretty much anything with your scouts is going to get you some gems some of the time and I've collected hundreds of different supplies out in the world and a bunch of different villages and camps so you're easily gonna get hundreds of gems from this over time just by doing something passively that you'll have to do anyway you have to clear the mist in the map it's just something you gotta do moving on to method number four is group conversation conversations now these are little events that will happen over time randomly in your city like literally in your city when you have a certain number of specific heroes that are in the city at the same time you'll see a little exclamation point over them and unfortunately I don't have one right now but I can show you if you click on that same book remember when we came into the illustrations you click that book in the top right you click conversations and this is essentially a little lore a little bit of background as to how some of the different heroes interact with each other and you'll get to learn more about how the heroes know each other or if they're in the same like clan or faction or if they're related to each other and one of the recent conversations that I had here was called the aftermath of war now some of the requirements have to be met in order to have these conversations in the first place so for example the duel of honor conversation you have to actually own Bakshi and Hosk as well as Ordo in order to have this uh unlock but you also have to have a certain stage in your server this will happen automatically for free over time but as you can see here once that conversation takes place you're going to get 50 gems a gold key and three hours of training speed ups and this is what the conversations look like this is the one that i saw today which is how i realized that this is a way that you can get gems for free now i'm just going to click through this but it's literally just a little story dialogue between the multiple characters that exist uh in your city okay and then at the very end you get 50 gems and that is the case for every single conversation you can see we'll scroll scroll through here every conversation that you have it's always 50 gems and a gold key which is huge as you guys know every 10 gold keys that you open here you get an epic or legendary so hoarding those gold keys I mean legendary heroes are some of the most valuable things that you can get with your gems anyway so collecting gold keys at the same time as gems is like you're double dipping on insane rewards moving on to method number five we have behemoths now there are actually two ways that you can get a nice handful of gems for free when it comes to the behemoth system here in call of dragons the first one is the first purification rewards as the season progresses in your server you're going to notice more and more behemoths become available for challenging so for example this thunder rock will be available for challenging very soon and if you participate in the first purification of this thunder rock you're going to gain 500 gems it doesn't matter how much damage you do if you do more damage you're going to get more rewards here as you can tell but the gems themselves are the same just being present or the first purification is going to get you 500 gems that is huge but it doesn't end there because you can also do elite raids with the behemoths that your alliance currently owns and this is a way that you're going to be able to level up those behemoths anyway so these are things that your alliance is going to want to do regardless but if you participate in these elite raids you're also going to gain some gems here so as you can see in the top right corner of this giant if you're a member of the first alliance on your server to complete this elite raid in a certain time frame you're going to gain gems for free so this is two reasons why you want to be in a strong and active alliance and we're going to talk more about strong and active alliances later in the video and how you might be able to find your way into one as a free to play player so make sure you stay tuned till later in the video but there are thousands of gems to be gotten for free just by participating in the different behemoth events here in your server so definitely be aware of when these are happening and make sure to show up all right we're almost halfway through this list here and if you found the video useful so far hopefully you'll drop a thumbs up on it it takes a second and it really helps out the channel a ton and if you haven't subscribed consider doing that as well okay moving on to method number six and that is the auger stone now the auger stone is a building in your city I think you your city either starts with it or it's literally one of the first things you ever build I can't remember but the auger stone is what keeps track of the progress through the season in your kingdom in your server okay 
so as you can see here there's a bunch of different server milestones that you're going to reach as time goes on and pretty much every single one of these different milestones gives you some number of gems so you want to make sure that you participate and do every single one of these i've been a bad boy i missed some of these okay uh this one was a little bit outside of my control but like this one i easily could have done this two dark chests that's so easy this is very easy to do and i missed out on 200 gems but the game is less it's like what two weeks old at the time of recording this and we've already had like a bunch of these different chapters go by and you could have easily gotten over a thousand gems for free just by participating in all of these different auger stone milestones and they are timed okay there is a time limit so in 12 minutes and 45 seconds uh i'm gonna gain a hundred gems a gold key five of the epic hero tokens which are very premium at the beginning of the game and then we'll be able to challenge thunder rock which is exciting and there's a lot more to go here in the uh in the progress of the auger stone so definitely check this periodically to make sure that you're doing what you have to do method number seven involves just the story of the game so if you go ahead and click that little book in the bottom corner that we've been talking about all video you click that okay and here you can see that i'm making progress in the actual season adventure the actual story of the game and each of these different chapters has multiple stories here i think that's what these are called different chapters i think i'm on chapter two here and there's four stories per chapter it looks like and each of these different stories as you complete them you're going to gain gems for free so the first stories here i gained a bunch of gems here i've gotten gems from these two and then there's going to be more so as you go through you gain more and more gems and how do you know where you are in the story well here we see sea of frost but you could also in the top left corner you can click this and you see this little icon right here okay this is going to bring you to your season adventures and this is the sea of frost part one so then i click go and it's going to bring me somewhere on the map that is relevant to the story i go ahead and start that process and it's going to essentially progress through that main story there's a lot of different cutscenes. there's a lot of dialogue and things that you know if you're interested in that sort of stuff this is going to be really cool you can learn a lot more about the game if you're not interested in that stuff you can click the auto button or you can just spam click through uh, i'm going to be honest i typically click through these don't judge me uh but i just you know i'm here to wage war i'm not i'm not really here to read text all right so yeah i mean i think these are all voice acted as well which is honestly like incredible Th this game does a really good job at telling story but for me there's so much there's so much talk and i just click through it and give me give me my free gems okay and progressing through the story actually brings me to method number eight which is your main quests now here you can see my main quest is boot camp i have to have 165,000 troops or units in my city and i'll get five gems now that's not that many gems right but think about how many different times i've said five gems in this video you're gonna gain thousands of gems by going through and doing everything that we've talked about in the video but one of the things that you'll have to do inevitably through the main quest is go through the actual story quest or the season adventures that we just talked about in method seven but method eight has to do with the main quest okay this is this has nothing to do with the actual story here I just have to have a certain amount of units and if I wanted to I could speed up train 10,000 units and I could claim my five gems for free now that's not worth it because you know 10,000 troops worth of speed ups is worth more than five gems but eventually as I'm training my troops every single day in my troop training buildings eventually I'm just going to get this for free I'm just going to get five gems and there are a lot of main quests that you're going to collect for free it's going to be very simple some of it's going to have to do with like progressing through the dragon trail story it's going to say like own a certain number of artifacts or own a certain number of heroes or get a hero to level 20 get a hero to level 41 you know things like that just normal stuff that you're gonna just do by playing the game and as you go through all those little milestones that you hit you're gonna be able to just spam click this collect button eventually and you're gonna get hundreds of gems just by going through now this will take time I'm not gonna pretend like this is just like you're gonna blow through this main quest easily as a free to play eventually you're gonna hit certain roadblocks like even me somebody who spent money in the game I'm hitting this roadblock here I don't really want to speed up my troops so I'm just gonna chill I'm gonna wait until I train enough here and then eventually I'm gonna break through it and we're gonna gain more stuff method number nine has to do with your weekly and holiday events so every couple of days there's going to be new events that show up in the event page which you can find in the top right corner here it's a little scroll with a sword that logo is probably going to change depending on what events are available right now it's the behemoth hunter but some of these events are going to come around that are a limited time event that are going to give you an opportunity to get gems for free so the first one that I see here is called great halls and this came around I think the first day that this server was available this becomes available so it's like 74 days or something like that in order to get your city hall and as you get to these last three 
Paul 15, 18, and 21. You're going to get 100 gems, 200 gems, 300 gems. That's nice. This is a one time thing, obviously, but uh, there are, again, events that come around every week or every month that are going to get you gems for free as some rewards. The side by side event doesn't have any gems here, but we know for sure some of the events in the future are going to get you some. And there's also going to be holiday events. Okay. So think about when Halloween comes, think about when Christmas or New Year's comes, right? These are big uh, events that a lot of city builder games like Call of Dragons like to emphasize. These big events typically come with some way to get some number of gems. So if you're considering saving up your combat points, using them during holiday events and maybe even some of the weekly events is probably a really good idea as long as you're getting a nice return on your investment in the form of gems method number 10 is finding your way into an alliance that has some players who are willing to spend some money on the game now a lot of players feel like this is really hard for free to play and i will admit that you know a lot of times the whales or the big spenders in the game like to kind of group together into one alliance that way they can all feed off of each other's purchases because if you didn't know uh, these rare chests here in your alliance are gained by other players spending money and as you can already see here there are many different times where i get gems for this for free i didn't do anything now i do buy bundles in the game so i contribute to this as well but there are plenty of times where other players are spending money and i'm getting five gems ten gems however many gems for free just by being in the alliance with them and this is why a lot of times the whales kind of all come together because then everyone's spending and everyone is contributing to this as well but as a free to play player it is still possible to land yourself in one of the most powerful alliances in your server but you have to bring something to the table right because there's a limited number of spots in any given alliance there's 123 spots available in our alliance right now of course that's going to increase as we progress more through technology but think about some of the things that as a free-to-play player you can provide to a well alliance the first thing is activity okay so being online often so you can click this help button is super important for the whales right they want to speed up their buildings and their research as fast as possible just like you do so if you're always online and you're active and you're clicking help that's going to help them a ton no pun intended another thing that you can offer a well alliance is being super knowledgeable in the game just learning as much as you can about the game about the different heroes about some of the best pairings of these heroes and some of the best artifacts that go with them or learning about you know different ways that you can maybe flag across the map right as a, as an r4 as an officer here or learning about just different methods and techniques to improve in the game if you're super knowledgeable about the game then a well who is brand new is going to be able to learn from you and that's going to be something worthwhile they're going to want to keep you around as a resource so they can say hey i'm considering investing in in Emery's, what do you think is he a is he a really good uh hero is like you know should i be doing that as long as you're a wealth of knowledge and you can provide good insight then some whales may find that useful and like i said if you are super active and knowledgeable consider becoming an r4 to the alliance obviously right now i'm an r4 i feel like i'm mainly here for promotional purposes and with that being said guys if you want to join the elite warriors alliance here in kingdom 41 definitely uh let me know right now we're i think we're recruiting over 1.5 million power yes minimum 1.5 million but being an r4 in an alliance is a lot of work and responsibility right you have to know the game really well you have to understand like when should we be researching certain technologies what order should you research certain technologies in right all this stuff requires a lot of time and knowledge and not a lot of whales have time right that's why they're whales that's why they spend because they can't be online all day so that's another way that you can contribute as a free-to-play player offer your time your knowledge your service and finally be friendly be diplomatic right B make friends in the game like join an alliance that you actually enjoy being in be friendly in the alliance chat be friendly in the world chat okay make friends in the game be somebody that other players want to play with if you're in the world chat and you're always talking smack you're always running your mouth you're always starting drama you're always being annoying you're always spamming like people don't want to play with players like that right don't be that guy all right making friends can go a really long way to getting yourself into a really powerful alliance that has people spending which is going to get you gems for free method number 11 and the final method here in the video is gathering gems out in the world now i saved this one for last because there's a few caveats here okay there's a couple things i want to talk about also this is relatively obvious right you can find gems 
out in the world first you have to unlock the policy board and then you have to progress through the first beginner policies here until you can unlock gem prospecting it's very cheap it's very easy to get this far into the policy board so don't worry too much about that but once you unlock the ability to do so you can find gems right here like a gem mine and you can mine this gem for free just by sending gatherers to go ahead and do that like literally that's it i can get gems for free 20 gems from this level two and of course there are higher and lower levels that provide more gems to you i'm actually not going to mine these gems because i'm going to save that for a free to play but you can mine i think up to a thousand gems per day now this does require heavy activity you have to be online very often because there's only 20 gems here so that means you have to be on like every 10 to 20 minutes you have to be online and ready to move your gatherers to another gem node and there's a couple of other things here that you have to be uh, concerned about okay first of all the more gems you gather the slower your gathering speed and this resets every week so keep that in mind it might be worth it to gem a lot in the beginning of the week and as you gather more and more it might be less worth it to do so so you might want to stop that's up to you but also you want to make sure that you're using a gathering hero for this because if you look at the top of the gathering tree okay you'll see that the talent windfall gives you additional reward items when your legion depletes a resource point now in the game they do refer to the gem mines as resource points you can click this little eye here and it says deploy legions to resource points and then it lists gem mines so we know that this is a resource point and we know that if you're going to gem all day you're going to be depleting these down to zero so essentially you can double dip on this by not only gaining the gems which is the whole point in doing this but you're also going to gain the resource items that come along with that final talent at the top of the gathering tree free items alongside free gems i mean yes sign me up for that now there's a couple of other caveats with mining gems okay first of all there's an opportunity cost right so if you are sending out your gatherers to gem mines that means that you're not sending them out to actual resource points so you have to consider where are you going to get your actual resources if you're spending all of your time gathering gems now realistically you can't spend all of your time gathering gems so sometimes you're gonna have to gather resource points you know sometimes you won't even find a nearby gem node right so there's that's that's something to consider in order to circumvent this opportunity cost one thing that you could do is start a farm account so that is literally creating a second character creating a second city in your existing server whose sole purpose is just to level up and gather a bunch of the materials or resources that you can in the world that you can then send to your main city now you cannot send mana okay so mana is the hardest uh, resource to get this is something you actually cannot send to other players i don't think you can plunder it from other players either uh, but you can send gold wood and ore and you should probably do that with a farm account if you're considering mining gems out in the world and the last thing that i want to talk about with mining gems is that it is very time consuming guys it is very time consuming you have to be online pretty much all day to get a, a you know to get hundreds or, or a thousand gems per day like you really have to play all day long and i don't typically recommend that now if you are a hardcore free-to-play player and you have nothing else going on or let's say you have a job where you're kind of just sitting in an office and you, you're you know you're a, a security guard for for the mall but you're the overnight shift so you're just sitting there doing nothing right then okay fine if you're gonna sit there for eight hours and go on your phone then sure mine gems you can go ahead and do that or if you you know you don't have a job or you're in a country where the amount of money that you earn from your job is very low then sure I'm not I'm not trying to bash you guys okay obviously it makes sense for a lot of people to mine gems but consider this consider how many gems you could possibly get for a day right like if you if you played for like 18 hours a day okay uh, and you mine gems all day and you got a thousand gems per day that's like less than five dollars worth of gems i mean like literally in the gem market 1250 gems is five dollars so like you really have to put that into perspective right you really have to think about how long is going to take here you're actually going to get double that right so it's, it's it's like you know how long is it really going to take and is it really worth it right uh if you spend you know eight hours a day even playing this game 
think about you know what is it possible for you to do something else with those eight hours that will get you five dollars right that's literally all you have to think about right if you just like playing the game all day great go ahead and do that but you could like knock on your neighbor's door and ask hey can i wash your car for you know for 10 bucks and then boom you don't have to grind the game all day you just buy the bundle and then you go ahead and do something else with your life right and you just saved yourself six hours or whatever so that's something to consider and i know that that is not possible for a lot of people okay i totally get that if you're a hundred percent free to play that's why i made this video for people like you if you made it all the way to the end of this video hopefully i've earned a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other call of dragons players might see it also consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a call of dragons video comment down below if i missed any really important ways that you can gain gems for free i am trying to still learn myself so any more information down there is good to know no look at this there's that little there's our favorite friend right there let's click on it what do we get look at that dude we got gems for free boys but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace